Hi, today I want to talk to you about setting up your modern German-made Westminster Chime mantel clock. Now this particular clock has what we call a balance wheel type mechanism. So if you look inside the back, you'll see a little wheel rotating back and forth. You'll notice it does not have a pendulum on it. So this makes this clock very simple to set up. As far as transporting it is concerned, of course, with no pendulum on it, you can transport it just the way it is, pick it up, move it around. Setting it up on a surface, as long as it's basically upright, the clock is going to work. It doesn't necessarily have to be absolutely level. Um, it is a good idea to have it on a solid surface where the clock doesn't move around a lot. But it's pretty, uh, uh, pretty open as far as where you put it. It doesn't have to be on a mantle or a shelf. It can be anywhere, pretty much anywhere that you want it to go. Uh, which is kind of nice with this clock. So really the only thing you have to worry about as far as um, taking care of the clock is concerned is uh, winding it up once a week and resetting the time. And so winding it is done uh, at least once a week and uh, it has to be done on all three of these uh, springs and it has to be done right to the very end. There's no such thing as over winding the clock or winding it too tight. As you can see I can, I can literally make a key rebound in my hand. Now when you wind it up once a week, it'll take more winding than what this has right now because it's just been wound a few days ago. But you'll see it just come, it'll come right to the stop on all three. I'm just going to get this out of the way here so that we can wind that last one up as well. You can see when I'm setting the time, I don't have to stop every 15 minutes. It will correct itself on the next full hour no matter where I, no matter where I leave the time. So, winding it up until it's fully wound up, do this at least once a week. Now, as far as setting the time is concerned, as you saw, I can reset it no matter where, whatever time. And what will happen is on the next full hour, in other words, at uh, 10 o'clock in this, in this case, the clock will resynchronize the chimes completely. The other way of setting the time on this one is by simply turning the hands backwards. You can do that on this clock as well with a modern type. This is the only type of clock that you can do it and that would also reset the time on it as well. Another option for you for setting the time, of course, is uh, stopping every 15 minutes and letting it chime, but that's not really necessary on this clock. It's not something you have to do. As far as the chimes are concerned, you can shut the chimes off with the lever on the back of the clock. If you absolutely need to have the chime shut off, this little lever just basically moves a, a wire down that interferes with the mechanism and stops the clock from chiming, which is only good for temporary use. Um, if, for example, if you have guests in the room or something and they, and they just can't uh, abide by the sound that it makes. But I do recommend that you keep the clock chiming as often as possible. Uh, and, and that's the other, yeah, there is one other shut off on here as well for the chimes. The lever in behind here uh, is also available for shutting the chimes off as well. So you can lift it, push it down to shut the chimes off and lift it up to have the chimes go. So this is a pretty basic clock to set up. There isn't any really difficulties as far as setting it up or maintaining it. Um, service the clock every four or five years and uh, it should be pretty much trouble free otherwise.